It's another beer from Quantock Brewery. This time we're using New Zealand hops and it's a pale ale. But what's it gonna be like? And is it gonna be another great beer from this new brewery? Check out the review. Welcome back to Rocker's Beer Review. Today we're gonna to be reviewing this beer. It's another beer from the Quantock Brewery based down in Taunton in Somerset. This is called One for the Chili Bin. It's a pale ale coming in at 4.2% and it's a New Zealand pale ale. So it's full of New Zealand hops. So we've got Dr. Rudy. I've never heard of that hop before. We've got Muteka, we've got Raku, we've got Taleke and Wam Wameka. So, they're not the sort of hops that we're getting you see all all the time. Um, things like Muteka, you know, that we get that in quite a few different things. But it's really a showcase of uh, of the of the New Zealand hops. And what the the can says is it's a showcase for the citrus, grapefruit, and resin, resinous notes, lush and flavourful New Zealand pale. So let's get this beer open into a glass and see what it's like, shall we? So the last one we had by Quantock, which was um, a New England IPA, uh, that was pretty good. Um, I really enjoyed that. And then this is another one that was, came in at a pretty reasonable price at just about just over three pounds. Okay, so beer in a glass, it's fairly light. We've got a sort of yellowy, custardy, hazy look. We've got two fingers of a pretty white, soft, soft looking, compacted head there. Looks pretty good, yep. Looks pretty good for a pale hour. It looks quite quite a bit more thicker and a bit more hazier than you normal normally get. Let's see what the aromas. Are. Yeah, I mean you get that real sort of fresh citrus and grapefruit. It's all over this. Yeah, I think this is going to be a really nice, refreshing beer. So let's see what it's like. Cheers, everyone. Yeah, really enjoy that. It's um, it's it's quite mouthfeel. Let's go back in for the mouthfeel because the levels of carbonation are sort of medium, but it's quite soft, and you get that initial sort of zippiness around the mouth with the carbonation. But then, as it sits on the palate, you think actually it's quite soft. And you, and to be honest, when I look at that head, it looks really sort of soft. That head. Um, and I don't know why that is, but it, I think that's the, the carbonation is quite low in it. So really great mouthfeel, brilliant. You know, again, the Southwest breweries, the, they, they know what they're doing when it comes to the quality of water they use. And there's obviously, a, you know, there's probably some oats and that in here. Let's have a quick look. Yeah, wheat, oats. We, so we've got, we've got that. It gives it a little bit more thickness, a bit more body, and also gives it that sort of hazy look. Flavor-wise, I mean, it's really refreshing and it's so drinkable. Um, so you've got a, a citrusy and grapefruit flavor, like the aroma, but it's it's quite light in those flavors. You you're getting them. Um, you're also getting a bit of grape, maybe a bit of melon, lychee, all those sort of white, light green type of. Um, fruits that you get it's very very fresh tasting and um it just it just it goes down so well again mouthfeel for a pale hour the mouthfeel superb it does taste light but it means that you can really smash it i think it's a brilliant beer I, i'd almost go say it's better than the uh the the ipa it reminds me a little bit of the sort of uh pale hours that the likes of vedant and daya do Great mouthfeel, amazed how cheap it is in terms of the fact that it's got all those uh, New Zealand hops in it. I don't know if what Dr. Rudy is. I mean, has everyone heard of Dr. Rudy? Let me know in the comments if you've heard of that hop. Um, Muteka, yes. Rakao, no. Tahereke and Waima. And we've had a single hop Waima, I think we're in a beer 52, um, that was pretty good. I'm really all over these New Zealand hops. I think they're really good. It does give that nice sort of fresh grapefruit and lemony sort of flavor but without going any there's no bit real bitterness in there even though there's a slight pininess very little bitterness and i think the softness of the beer helps sort of taking away any bitterness that there might be so smashing beer let's get some scores in shall we <laughs> 
Okay, the scores are in for one for the chili bin. This is from Quantock Brewery down in Taunton, Somerset. They're now start. They're now becoming one of my fav favorite of the new breweries that we've tried. Um, we've had two beers from them. Both of them have been excellent and also very reasonably priced. So first things first, aroma. Well, we had that nice sort of. It's quite a light grapefruit. Um, a little bit of lemons and limes. Maybe even a subtleness of, of, of pineapple and a little bit of grape, melon, that sort of thing as well. Very nice, not overly pungent, but you wouldn't necessarily, you don't necessarily um, expect that from a parallel, but certainly very pleasant. But I'm giving it a 12 for aroma. Appearance, well, I think it looks pretty good. For a, a parallel, it's got a nice haze on it and it's got quite a nice thick body. With the, the head is sort of disappearing, but it was a very sort of foamy, frothy sort of white head that to be honest really sort of set it out in terms of what it what it's going to feel in the mouth like in the mouth really nice that um i think in terms of appearance i'm giving it nine out of ten flavor wise for a palau it's got lots of flavor in it we've got lots of different hops in there and we're getting a lot of those sort of citrusy and grapefruit flavors that are quite quite big but even the grapefruit it's more of that sort of pink grapefruit so that's a slight sweeter grapefruit than a than your sort of traditional sort of yellow Grapefruit. Bit of honeydew melon, bit of white grape in there, bit of lychee, gooseberry, all of those sort of very sort of greenish type of uh, fruits. Really nice and refreshing and very goes down really well. And as I say, the mouthfeel is superb. They really have got, got the mouthfeel um, in terms of the body of the beer really well done. So I'm giving this 36 for flavour. Value for money, well, as I said, I think this was just about three just over, I think about £3.20, £3.30. Very great, good value for money. You know, it's better than supermarket beers um, and it's at that sort of price point. So yeah, definitely one to watch out for. Nine out of 10 for value. And then overall experience, well, I love this. You know, I'm starting to think, yes, I can't wait till the summer. I'm gonna start drinking more of these because they're just so, they go down so well, but they've got so much flavor in them as well. So it has all that sort of light refreshingness, but also full of flavor. So I'm giving it 17 for overall experience. Tighten those scores up, we get another Iron Maiden beer. It's the heaviest of heavy metal, 83 out of 100. It's a cracking beer. So I'll hold up the can again. Another, you know, the can, I don't think this is pretty but it's you can see the theme that they're going for here with a lot of swirly colors great that they've got all the hops and everything on the back bit of description i think that's great quantock brewery give them a try i think you'll like them because i think they can they do some really good beer, beers this one um, and the infinite beginnings one the uh, new england ipa both cracking beers so hope you enjoy the video and until the next one like and subscribe and keep on rocking